I have got five minutes to kill while I wait to pick up my granddaughter from the school run. So I thought I would spend the next five minutes sharing as many tools that make my ADHD life a lot easier. Let's see how many I can get in five minutes. Let us go. Number one is my Apple Watch. I've had other smart watches in the past for fitness trackers and things like that, but actually my Apple Watch I find invaluable. And the reason I do is partly because the timer function is so easy to set. So if I want to set a timer, I've got a range of different one-click options that I can go into. If I have to think too hard about it, I won't do it. Whereas with the Apple Watch, it is so easy just to hit the timer, one click, and we are there and it means I don't overboil eggs by forgetting to put them on the boil and leaving them. I don't burn food. I don't have the fire alarms going off reminding me that I've forgotten to take something off the stove. Absolutely invaluable. Number two are on a similar vein, time cubes. So these time cubes are brilliant. They just came off Amazon and they are one of the best, best tools I've got. Again, I need things that make life simple. And these are even more simple than using my Apple Watch. So if I'm working at the desk, if I know I've got a call in 10 minutes, ordinarily uh, that would that would leave me not doing anything because I'd be so worried if I got involved in doing something, I would miss my appointment. So now if I know I've got 10 minutes before a call, I will literally just flip one of the cubes over onto the 10 minutes and it immediate, all you do is literally flip it over and it immediately starts counting down so I don't miss appointments. And it, you can do increments like one minute, three minutes, five minutes. I've got two cubes with different amounts on there. And I also use them if I just need a bit of a mental break and I want to do a little bit of mindless scrolling, but I don't want to get too bogged down by the mindless scrolling. I'll set myself a five minute timer and that's a bit of a break. Number three are these little tiny mini storage boxes. I have a tendency to leave stuff in little piles all over the place, little doom piles. And these have been a game changer because I have... I have them dotted all over my bedroom. I even have one in the bathroom and in there I have my shampoo, my conditioner and the things that I want to use if I have a shower so I don't have to go and get everything out. I don't like things left out on the uh, on show in the bathroom but I, I'm really bad at if I get them out I then get dried, walk away and then I forget that I've left all the shampoo bottles and everything open and then when I'm finished in the shower all I need to do is move one box with everything in it back into the cupboard. Number four is my online banking app with Starling Bank. There are lots of online banks now which are really helpful. They give you immediate data and information straight onto your phone. The days before we had mobile banking, I was absolutely hopeless at tracking my finances. I've tried doing all sorts. I've tried doing manually using books. I've also tried using budgeting apps. None of them have worked. What I love about the Starling app is it gives me immediate data on what I've spent. It also has little saving spaces so I can move money out of the main account and put it into these spaces a little bit like tins, you know, the old fashioned tins on a shelf where you can allocate money. And the beauty of that is it means that I have a I have to pause if I want to buy something because if it's not in the main body of the account, then I have to physically move money from a space into the main account before I can spend. Does it always stop me buying impulsively? No, it doesn't. But it does give me a little bit of a pause that just makes me stop and think, do I actually want to buy this? It's another step that I have to go through, which means I'm less likely to overspend. It's number five is my Google Calendar on my phone. It's on my phone. It's on my PC. It's on my iPad. It's on my laptop. And without it, I would never be where I'm meant to be at all. I got a ping to remind me to go and pick my granddaughter up from school today. Without it, I would have probably forgotten because I don't have any routine. But putting things in my Google Calendar means I always know where I'm meant to be. And quite frankly, if it's not in the calendar, it doesn't happen. There you go. We're 5.26. Maybe I can edit this to under five minutes. Hope that was helpful.